Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, it's a very quick tutorial showing you how I've designed another piece. Piece is for this frame here. This is the Flynoceros ether frame and the quadcopter I built in quadcopter build series six. Now I like to have action cameras on the top of these things to record my flight in HD or in this case in 4K. This is the F1 4K action camera and I want to have a platform that's going to go on the top of the model that's going to support the camera. Now there's a cutout designed on it already but I want to design my own little piece for this specific camera. Now, one of the things I will say is Flynoceros are brilliant. If you go and have a look on Thingiverse and have a look on the Flynoceros pages, they have shed loads of 3D printed stuff already. So there's a good chance if you want something for a Flynoceros frame, you're not going to have to design it. It's just that I like to design stuff and I like to print things. So this is what we're going to do. Now, the piece I'm interested in is going to look a little bit like this, and it's going to fit over the top two spars that separate the cage at the top of the ether frame. Those spars are 25 millimeters wide, because that's the frame I'm using. They're five millimeters in diameter, and they're 31.3 millimeters apart. So knowing those dimensions, we can create our piece. So let's go into SketchUp. I'm going to use SketchUp here. And again, this isn't meant to be an in-depth tutorial. I'm just going to show you how I use it. I'm going to try and remember to talk about the shortcut keys that I use when I'm building something. So for example, L will let you draw a line. R for rectangle will let you draw a rectangle, C for circle, and T for tape allows you to click between two parts and it will give you the dimension of that part. So for E for eraser, let's delete all of that, including the maker bot box, and I'm going to press H for hand to bring the origin in, middle scroll wheel on the mouse, H for hand as well, just move it in. So the first measurement we need here is going to be that 31.3 millimeters. So I'm just going to click here and drag it across and type 31.3 millimeters. Hit enter. Perfect. I press the space bar to get out of that. That's how far my holes need to be apart. And I'm also then going to measure in 2.5 millimeters on each end because I need a radius of just over five millimeters. But if I just put, let me show you what I'm going to do. So if I type in 2.5 millimeters like that, do the same at the other end, 2.5 millimeters. That's the center of my circles. So the cutouts are going to be here. I'm going to type in 2.6 millimeters as the radius of the circle. And the reason for that, if I just show you how wide the circle is, it's going to be 5.2 millimeters. And we got, want to make it slightly bigger than the thing that needs to go through it. Otherwise, we'll be sat with a needle file trying to open it up. Every printer is different, and you'll tend to find once you've designed a couple of parts, you'll get an idea for what kind of tolerance you need to leave. Now, 5.2 is going to be a snug fit, uh, and you might need a little bit more, but we'll assume that's OK. C for circle again, pop on the other end type in 2.6 millimeters, and there are our two pieces. Now we need to uh, expand these circles a bit. So I'm going to click on them, click on this tool on the left hand side, and uh, drag them out about, let's make them 1.6 millimeters. Uh, it's a four millimeter nozzle on mine. I'm going to then delete, select and delete the middle piece. E for eraser, let's get rid of that bit too, and that as well. Do the same on the other side, select the circle, drag the circle out to the same amount. Uh, we can either type it in, drag it out by 1.6 millimeters, hit the same thing, select the middle circle, press delete, E for eraser tool, get rid of those bits as well. Fab. Now, if I just draw a line between these two bits, try and find the top part of each circle. Great. E for Eraser. Now something weird's happening there. Let me just see what's going on. O for orbit. E for arrays. Hmm. I'll just do another little line to make sure that those two are absolutely connected. There we go. It's just been a bit silly. Occasionally you will get these kind of weird things happening with this. So let me just fix that. L for line. Let's draw across and make it snap. To that position. Actually, it's probably more like there. And this is sometimes the kind of goofing around that you need to do with SketchUp. Occasionally have these little hiccups. So H for hands, move it in the middle. E for eraser, get rid of that piece. O for orbit. 
and this time I'm going to do P for pull and we're going to pull it 25 millimeters hit enter H for hand again O for orbit and that piece would work but it's looking a bit boring there's lots of material here in the middle that we don't necessarily mean that we can absolutely take out so let's lighten this piece up a little bit two things we need to do first of all on the sides here the strap needs to come around it uh, with clearance between this piece and the frame uh, so that we can get the strap through so the first thing we'll do is L for line we'll just draw two lines up here P for push pull push it I don't know two millimeters it should be absolutely loads same on the other side L for line two lines P for push pull two millimeters there we go orbit again still lots of material in the middle although that's going to be quite a bit stronger than it was I'm tempted to put a little uh, chamfer on the edges but for now let's just take out a chunk of material T for tape so let's eyeball it so say that's five millimeters from that side five millimeters from that side half a rectangle stick it in one side pop it in the other use the push pull tool to the back edge and now we've got two big bars that will connect it uh, these bars are going to be pulled in together so we'll put a little bit of a strength in it in the middle alpha line and the, it will always kind of snap to the midpoint uh, of any particular line that you're looking on so that's really great T for tape uh, let's make it the same size 2.5 millimeters one side 2.5 millimeters the other pop in two lines all right let's get rid of the one in the middle push pull tool and let's pull it down to here and then E for eraser turn around Oops, zoom, zoom out a little bit can't see what I'm doing H for hand bring it in the middle E for eraser get rid of the construction lines there we go that's going to be a lot lighter part than we had before there are a couple of little final refinements that I'd be tempted to pop onto this first thing is a little bit of a curve so that as the strap is coming around here it's kind of guided a little bit more and it's not got this complete sharp edge so maybe what I'll do is I'll just do alpha line to orbit so I can see both sides alpha line let's put that in the middle position just draw the line across and it will put in that new face when it's there E for eraser get rid of those extra pieces flip it over O for orbit until we've got the same view on the other side alpha line pop that in there just draw it and as soon as it's got the geometry draw a face in it will E for arrays get all those extra pieces and there we have the piece that we can print out now hopefully that's interesting for those of you again I would probably continue to play around with this whenever you print the first one always treat it as a test you might find that some of the pieces need to be changed maybe the holes are a bit tight so they need to be opened up slightly you might find that the gap around the edge here to let out the velcro strap needs to be opened up a little bit more but hopefully that's interesting for you again if you like me showing these kind of things do leave a comment down below and i'll continue to make them if you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless 360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article, or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.